welcome back to my channel today is another unboxing video this video is a little bit different than usual um, this bag is on my wish list of 2023 but I haven't got a chance to offer to be offered one so here I am um, I bought a dupe of it <laughs> yeah it's one of my options how you want to dress so you know um uh more luxury brand but you can afford or you can you don't have the chance or you didn't get a chance to offer one here we are we can buy a dupe one there's a plenty of a dupe one that you know it's pretty good quality so i got this one and then i feel it's pretty good and that's why i want to share with you so I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer. Here we are. Let's unbox it. Here it is. It's from the Bottega Milano. So um, it's a dupe. It's not replica. It's a dupe. It's a dupe of a broken thirty. Isn't this pretty? Yeah, this is just so pretty. It looks looks like the Togo leather. Mm, it's a little bit not certain about. I don't think it's real leather, but. It looks pretty real and it's so soft too and with this gold uh, hardware you can see and it's a dreamly dreamly looks good quality so let's open this up I'm gonna take the plastic off too see it has all the plastic to protect him Keep that on. And it also has this protecting <clears throat> dust. <clears throat> Protector dust film. And then here, we can take this off for a second. Okay. And then I can get rid of this one. And what's inside? Peekaboo! <laughs> it's pink. <clears throat> yeah, this is their uh, special uh, special edition. Uh, it has this really caramel tan uh, kind of color, but with a pink inside. So the, uh, inserts protecting the shape. What it has is a, a lock, a lock, and then also does it have also has a stripe. It does come with a stripe. Does come with a stripe. It's pretty good length. It's very good, and. I'll wear this in a minute. Um, what else do you have? Nothing there. What does it look like here? It has the same pocket that you have. I think it does have pocket here. So I don't know. So I never buy, I don't own any um, broken. Okay, it has also a um, zip pocket too here. See the pocket. <clears throat> so it's extremely roomy as well. It's not that heavy, heavy, but I can see it's. You can add more weight if you have a lot of things in it. But it looks, it looks gorgeous. It also has protected film on all these hardware as well. I'll take it out later. It also comes with Twilly. It's 
open this up. Wow, it's really nice. Look at that. So the pink and the candle of carriage. Also, I don't know really how to do this, but I'm gonna put this on the front quickly. Okay, I'm back. My camera died in uh, the middle of the video, so uh, I think I was just finished the toilet. So that's how I made up there. Um, and then next, I want to show you guys. Um, put the locks on. It's also the first time I put the locks on. Let's see how that works. Okay, I put the locks like this. Um, I know it's supposed to go the middle, but I think this one's pretty like this, right? Okay, there's one accessories. This is actually the Rodeo. This is really the real um, Hermes. Uh, I bought this actually. My husband bought this for me um, actually last year. So this one is from Fashion File. I don't have, uh, I didn't know it's actually the color looks really matching. The two sides, this rodeo has a um, the kind of tannish color and then it has the pink on the other side too. So. I didn't get a chance to use it yet. So. This is the one's real one. Yeah, the leather just smells so different. But I'm gonna put them here. <laughs> just put it on here, and I'll show you. Probably too much dress. But isn't that pretty? You can do this way, or you can do this way. <laughs> Look at that, it's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now, we are going to see how it fits. I know, it's just too, it's too very big for me. I usually, like I have my essentials, these two. Um, car holder and also kitchen. Hey, just fit there. So much room. And then you have my uh, makeup compact pouch. And then I just throw in some tissues and hand sanitizers. Put in front. I really need some uh, organizers here. Um, I'm thinking also, um, you think the iPad would fit? Yes, my gosh, my iPad Pro can fit in here, like that, wow, it's way too heavy though. Um, where's my phone? This bag has become super heavy, super heavy too. So I don't think it's a good idea to put an iPad there. It's too heavy for me. So I'm gonna take it out. Uh, regular stuff fit in perfectly. So and that's pretty good. There. So you can, of course, I get to wear it for you, right? Let's see this one. It's very nice. You can also lift it like that. And another thing is it comes with the crossbody stripe. Stripe. Um, I don't know the real one. 
whether it does have it or not. I think this looks very cool. They offer the crossbody. Everyone knows I love crossbody and I'm not have my rules, right? I have my rules of crossbody rules. Yes, I do. How does it feel? It's just a hook at the end of this. It's very easy to do. Now I'm gonna wear this for you. And then it has a crossbody. Look at that. The length is perfect again. Yeah. I wouldn't use a crossbody. It just because the bag is so big, right? It's very big, so I wouldn't use a crossbody. I. I would like the shoulder bags really hang like loose. It's really like really nice actually. Mm. Yeah, it's really loose. And it, if you want to try the cargo, of course I can try it for you guys. Again, it match my rules, right? I can put my shoulder. I can put right here. Um, yeah, on my wrist, my arms just hang. That's my normal. Um, criteria and then fits perfectly too. Oh, how really, how real looking this is. If you can comment on below, if whoever owns a um, Togo Leather Broken 30, please tell me how real looking this is, how good looking this is. Are this close real? The only thing I can compare with is this one. I bought a um, um, Epson Cali um, pocket, Epson Cali pocket uh, from Fashion File as well. So this is actually the real MS from Fashion File. Yeah, this is from the fashion file, and then yeah, this is the Epson Kelly, Epson Kelly Hermes um, pocket compact. So it's almost like a wallet, right? Like a car holder. You can see the lock, turn lock here. You can see um, this is the one. Trying to zoom in here. Maybe closely. It's in here. You can see? And then you can see the ones compare these two. Very close, right? And then even you turn open and take the dust bag out. Of course, this is an air mask, so it does have this lock right here. And then you can see this one also has. And go uh, doesn't reach now, but you can see this is also turning like this. The thing that's really feel I feel so close is a uh, it's actually this square. How they make this plus so same. You can see how closely this is to the real one. I mean. I don't own a actual broken, but I own this little wallet. <laughs> this wallet tells me this really close, right? Um, and then this definitely smell leather. I'll smell this again. Mm, not really. <laughs> I don't think this is a real leather though, although the website claim these are real leather, but I don't think so. And, uh, but this is a real leather, you can smell it. it, it just, you can't just deny it, right? So, yeah, but it looks, looks legit, but it's not real leather. That's one thing I don't like. And in many of, um, and also, um, I'm trying to see, um, find out more about this brand, um, just to see how, um, what this is about. 
So I only can see it's from a linking page. In the linking page, um, it basically says it's a furniture and a home furnishing manufacturing. Milano, Milano. Is that in is that in um Italy? I am not sure. Um and then it says a lot of you know uh instances of a laboratory and the Bottega clearly refers to the study and research of Renaissance workshop. So it's kind of designing company or experimental thing. Mm. Yeah, a new resolution give life and motivate us, pleasures us, and makes us grow, grow as a human being. Mm. Okay, <laughs> so it didn't give like more explanation of this uh, manufacturing I thought was in Italy, but I don't think so. So, Milano and Milano. Um, headquarters. Um, so, anyways, this is a dupe. So it's only cost really a fraction of what is the bad, real bad cost, right? Um, and it's not real leather, but it's look and feel. It's legit. It does. It does look so good. And also. In addition to this particular bag, uh, the website actually, this uh, seller, La Bottega, actually offers many uh, different options. So once you go to their homepage and click all bags, you can see, scroll down, you can see all sort of bags, Balkans, tons of Birkins with very expensive kind of uh, leather uh, look and feel you can see it costs no more than $500 and it also has a peekaboo yeah that's a been, uh, really windy uh, ones and you know the ones I like uh, yeah I bought is Mediglia Mediglia Beige Rose Edition Special. Yeah, you can see it cost me less than three hundred dollars. Yeah, it cost me less than three hundred dollars. So, but look and the feel are really look real, right? And you can pay with Apple Pay. Uh, it's very easy, and then also many credit cards or companies it offers. You can buy um, diff with different options that you can do, um, and you can and just offer a lot of a variety of bags. You can just continue scroll down, different colors, um, different sizes. Mm and it just looks amazing. Uh, of course, besides Birkin, he also offers, um, you know, Kelly, right? Um, Kelly is also there as well, in different color, of course, different uh, leather as well. Um, I don't particularly like the hard uh, kind of leather, very structured, um, but I think all these website options look amazing. Mm. Oh yeah, this one uh, from the Bottega as well. Oh yeah, these also very nice, different sizes like I mentioned, different sizes. And they also have the ro rodeo there, $25. Yeah, that the one that I have probably over thousand dollars. This one, this one is more expensive than the bag. This one is more expensive than the bag. Oh my gosh! And it offers also scarves, um, 
tons of scarves my god it's really nice mm. looks like a very nice quality but i'm not sure if those are silk or not um, because these are not this is not real leather uh yeah just more different kind and some of them are really special like ostrich leather you know those are so expensive um quacked out leather wow that even more expensive those ones right and then some this one oh my gosh this one i saw it's almost like uh over four hundred thousand dollars for real a mess but you know this bag is not gonna um yeah what four hundred four hundred fifty dollars um but these looks real, but they're not real um, in the or um, ostrich leather. So, yeah, like I mentioned, you know, it offers a lot of um, just different variety of bags. The look and feels are so same. Uh, and then they also give you a lot of different payment options. You can also looking at their frequent ask questions. Um, it gives you different answers as well. Uh, for me, I don't have to cancel it. Uh, this one take a really long time. I got, I remember probably close to almost a month, but I think they offers you um, different shipping. Uh, I think you can express uh, ship maybe less but i'm not sure i did use uh trying to just regular mm, i think it's take almost a month to get to me but it did eventually get to me you can track the order for sure it tells you yeah it tells you based on the order number and your email it tells you exactly where your order is so that's pretty good in that sense and plus it offers um, different uh, payment method so make your purchase experience fairly uh, easily the only thing I think is this is not real leather but this feels so soft it feels so real and then the look feels so gorgeous that you can pair with any accessories that you can afford this one I can afford <laughs> Yes, this one I can afford. And then this little wallet, which is a real Hermes, that I can afford. And then this bag, I can't afford. And, and also, I don't even get a chance to get one. All for one. But I have this one. So, what do you guys think about this bag? Please leave a comment on below if you feel it looks real. If you own one, just please share your comments and say, hey, this, how does it look? Because I don't own one and I'm eager to find out. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's a gorgeous bag. Yeah, I think it works it. Okay. This is the video for today. If you enjoy this video, please leave a com comment actually. <laughs> please leave a comment or please subscribe and then like it. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.